Welcome to PhD with Women on It, Hack the Future. My name is Beata Young and today's PhD Positivity Hack delivered will be by our guest Leszek Król. Today is also my birthday, so what could be a better topic than how to create mobile applications with Flutter? Flutter, even. Episode 45 starts here. Let me remind you, this is a grassroots community that focuses on women on IT, an inclusive forum of women in technology, startups, and female leaders who are supported by men as well. And I bring heart to that hustle because empathy is my motto, and empathy is critical when you are building mobile applications with Flutter. A framework like Flutter allows you to build mobile applications for iOS and Android in a truly platform independent way. With one programming language and one code base, users can create beautifully natively compiled mobile applications with this user interface toolkit. Developers consider it to be the fastest and most expressive way to build native apps. Due to its simplicity, high performance resulting from its development, rich user interface, Flutter will have a significant impact on the development of high quality, feature packed mobile applications in the near future. In this week's episode, we are joined by Leszek Krul, initiator and founder of the University of Games, owner, owner of Strict Space, author and an enthusiast in designing strategies and developing technology products and services. Leszek actively participates in many national and international conferences and scientific seminars and is very passionate when it comes to new technologies. He's also a friend of mine and also a very avid uh, supporter of Mission to Run Business. That's how we met back in Poland in 20, was it 2014, Leszek? 2014, 2014, exactly. There you go. Time flies when you're enjoying your company. Join us as we discuss topics including pros and cons of Flutter, why you should work with it, and how you can get started, and most importantly, where you find more information and how to get start, started to learn Flutter. Leszek, where in the world are you today? I'm in, uh, I'm in Poland at the moment, in Olsztyn. Uh, how are you? Hello, everyone. Hi, Beata. Good to see you. Uh, it's, been, it's been a while, but I'm very pleased uh, to participate in uh, today's meeting. Leszek, you're also um, one of the co-founders of our latest baby, which is Hansea Tech. That's right. That has not been mentioned. And uh, we also had good fun creating first mobile application for one of our clients. So Leszek, what, uh, what can we learn and how can we learn how to create mobile applications with Flutter. What would you say, uh, what are its benefits? Mm, to start talking about the Flutter, we need to think why it's uh, important to me, I think, uh, because um, from my perspective, Flutter is really good technology because the market is expanding, it's evolving very quickly. Uh, we need to find really reliable uh, technology to create a prototype uh, application uh, based to the rapid development and Flutter allow us to do that. Uh, I was constantly looking for a solution that uh, would be flexible enough to make a cl clickable prototype. Uh, there's were, uh, several other frameworks uh, on the market, but each of them requires some effort to make a first step. Flutter cut uh, that time to let's say zero. And uh, based on that, uh, when Flutter appeared, uh, in the few clicks, I can start working on the prototype uh, of product to my client. This, uh, this relatively, uh, rap relatively cut the time of the development, uh, the, the first stage of the development. Uh, and that's why the Flutter uh, became so popular. So, Leszek, how did you learn about Flutter? What was your steps uh, to learn this new exciting platform? It's, it's hard to say because um, I instantly looking at new uh, solutions on the market. 
uh, instantly growing uh, and changing rapidly the environment which I'm working with uh, every day. And uh, I read something about Dart, the language based on the Flutter. And uh, um, based on that knowledge, I start looking what is Flutter, uh, who made Flutter. And uh, after that, I uh, read that, oh, it's based, uh, it's de developed by Google. And for me, it's will be enough because it's made the credi credibility that it's easily adaptive uh, to mobile, web, and desktop because Google is working on that. Uh, mm. and, and I start reading. Uh, Google is, is also expanding the a lot of the documentations, the free uh, videos on the YouTube, how to uh, create a new uh, your first application in Flutter. And based on that materials, I start working on my prototype, my first playable prototype of something. And after that, I realized that it's really easy tool, a really flexible tool and easy to learn. Uh, and I'm start working uh, in a couple of projects using Flutter. So you trust Google, but we know that some of the projects they kind of dumped. What would happen yep. if? Yep. Uh, you know, um, I trust Google because they would like to rapidly jump uh, over uh, the React. Uh, React have uh, a React React framework have a, a really um, good and stable uh, framework, but all the dependencies the other libraries are made by users. If user mm -hmm. just, uh, I don't know, uh, for example, uh, make some strange change in the code, uh, he could break our system. Uh, Flutter with Google, uh, he's trying to make a credibility that all the li uh, libraries is verified somehow by Google and that's made uh for us more um, stable solution for developers mm. fabulous uh, thank you leszek for telling reminding us that community is very important part not just when you're building uh, mobile apps but also when you are having good fun joining us on positivity hacks delivered because we have got agatha bellon we have got in love and in pain we have got lovely comments coming all together via Facebook, YouTube. And if there is anybody watching us right now on LinkedIn, please chip in and say hello. Happy birthday or happy new year or happy positivity hacks delivered. Hello, Beata and Leszek. So happy PhD is back. I missed you, Beata. I missed you too in loving in pain. I hope this year it's going to be very, very successful, exciting, whatever you wish for, everybody, everyone, including our lovely guest. So, Leszek, you keep learning new stuff. You're hungry for uh, new development or new knowledge. How do you keep yourself focused on whatever you're doing? I'm sorry I'm diving into a different kind of topic, but it's really fascinating because the number of times you told me about this this new development and blockchain and uh, cryptography and uh, whatever i'm really really uh, amazed you know i'm jumping from my birth let's say because uh, i always want to do something more uh, that's why when i was 10 i'm starting uh, developing my first uh, computer games but Everything is based on my methodology, let's say. Um, uh, I call it like a perspective change. Uh, when, we s when we are stuck on a one problem for a long time, we lose uh, uh, concentration. Then it affects on our ob objectivity. It's like a drawing uh, a one picture, the, uh, the same picture, let's say, for years without having the idea uh, how to how we can draw it that picture, and uh, while implementing uh, many projects in my life, I noticed that development uh, consists of small steps. Uh, when we see it, ma making that that small step steps, when we see it, 
uh, when creating a product or website or something, we have to take a dozen of small, smaller steps to go from start to, to finish, to, de to develop the full working project website, uh, the book or something. And uh, when we get to a place where we do not know uh, what to do next, and it takes more time to find information how to do that, I always throw it away. That's okay, I leave it for now, but I'm jumping to in the next couple of days. Uh, if I'm having a few different things unrelated uh, to each other, I could develop faster in long term because I learn something new in different areas and jump back to the topic uh, when I don't have an idea how to push forward. And I think our brains know uh, the answers for every question, but sometimes it's required to uh, return a problem with different experience with different areas. That's why I, yeah. Yeah, uh, or engage our brain. That's also um, exactly. definitely <laughs> one of the things uh, we can do to instill us with some inspiration. Speak about inspiration. We have got very inspiring question from in love and in pain. Can you use Flutter without coding? Huh, it's hard to say because Flutter without coding uh, cannot be used, but uh, the Dart language is uh, pretty easy to learn because uh, the developers with minimal coding experience and uh, could start learning a Dart. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, really step-by-step -step tutorials made by Google, and it's pretty enough to start doing something. Uh, with a, a little, uh, a little uh, fascinating the topic, uh, but we we don't we, we cannot jump over the programming uh, using using uh, Flutter. Well, uh, that means uh, uh, our greatest glory is not in never failing, but in rising every time we fall. By Confucius' beautiful quotation, but also trying to do things rather than just expecting that something will come miraculously. So um, in Love and in Pain, my suggestion is get cracking on coding because Leszek is also teaching some of our staff members how to code. So that can definitely be done. Once you start, you will never um, fail. That's that's it. Just do the just do the first step. So Leszek, there will be some inspiration going on because you're apart from the business you're doing, you also leave some inspirational quotes on your Instagram. I uh, know that you've had some mentorship programs going and but before we delve into that, let's go back to uh, Flutter. And um, you said that there are some uh, good uh, sites, good um, places to start, and uh, you need to learn Dart. What would you be uh, your recommendation? What would you say is the best source for learning Dart? Uh, the best source is uh, the Flutter website and the open source made by Google. This is, I think, the, the first start for every young developer to uh, came up with something uh, because uh, this language, the Dart, is rapidly changing. It's uh, showed up by Google ten years ago, but uh, as a Flutter library, it came up like a three or two uh, two years uh, two years ago, and that's why a lot of uh, small changes is made uh, by Google. That's why the Flutter website is the best source for now to start uh, making a first step. But uh, we can also find out a really good crash course on the uh, internet uh, when we can make our first step also in uh, Dart. But Dart is pretty um, easy language because for my, for my opinion, is similar. For my opinion, uh, when we coding the websites, or are we changing something uh, on the WordPress using the HTML with JavaScript or something? Uh, we know a basic program. It's, it's called it a basic programming. Uh, this knowledge that we gather 
from websites, it's really easy uh, to use using um, when we're learning the Dart language, because there is uh, some similarity between uh, the HTML and the Dart. Okay, so um, what? Uh, why has Flutter become so important to you, Leszek? Uh, for now, uh, this is the really good solution to um, to um, push the prototype on the market uh, really quick without uh, a huge cost. This is, I think, the first most important uh, thing when we'd like to check something really quick, and we would wouldn't uh, involve a, a lot of people in our project. We can make it in the Flutter. Uh, there is also other several other frame, frameworks before which I used for, but the Flutter is uh, in that side uh, win. Mm. And also, uh, when we configure our environment, Flutter is also really easy to start. We don't have to install ten thousands different uh, libraries and etc. We have a one installer. Click, 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 and that's it. We we are we are we are in. Uh, that's really, I think, two most important things. There's also a, a lot of bad things about Flutter, uh, but uh, when we would like to develop something really quick, I think um, these two uh, two points are really important for me. So, what makes Flutter so unique? Uh, I think uh, from one side, the Google credibility. Why? Because they're uh, trying to um, take over Android, making the uh, Google Fuchsia like a next uh, operating system. And they used Flutter as a base a code base uh, to develop the system. This made the credibility that the Flutter is something more important uh, to them. Also, mm -hmm. easily adaptive to mobile, web, uh, and desktop uh, with single code base because some tools require from us to create uh, special scripts uh, dedicated for each platform. Flutter is only one single code base, and that's uh, really unique, let's say. They don't require any bridges and wrappers, only one code base. Also, good advantage um, from Flutter is a stable uh, 60 uh, frames per second. When we refreshing the, the screen display, is always smooth and clear. And also, hmm, maybe a hot reload feature. This is something a lot. Right now, a lot of frameworks uh, have have that too. But uh, hot reload allow you to plug your phone to computer uh, and with some types of code uh, in the terminal, you can run your application in the real time when you are coding something. And all the changes uh, is came up on your phone. That's really cool feature to really rapidly prototype something, uh, rapidly developing the designs to the application or checking something without creating a build, pushing to the device, and etc. I think these points um, are unique in Flutter. Also, we can talk about uh, the widgets because Flutter, when uh, Google came up with a really good documentation, they also made a lot of uh, ready uh, to use widgets, which we can use uh, building the login page, uh, or the home screen, and etc. Uh, we have a lot of um, customs and ready made uh, widgets uh, by Google which we can easily implement our code. This is something uh, important because other frameworks don't have a lot of tutorials. They have a small uh, information how to use that, but not mm. that, that much as Google provided to the users. So what, uh, what are widgets and what do they do? Maybe you could give us some real-time examples. Mm -hmm. uh, in Flutter, Everything what we see on the screen, like uh, buttons, images, uh, also the background, are a widgets. It's called the widget. Um, the view of the screen completely depends upon the choice and the sequence of the widgets used to build the app. Um, 
Flutter have a lot of widgets uh, from the text to audio to video um, and a lot of more. We have also built in widgets from the animations we, which can use in different situations. Widget is like a normal functions, but with a lot of attributes. For example, um, we can compare widgets to HTML code uh, because it's pretty similar, let's say, when we would like to um, create a text. For example, we use a P uh, meta um, uh, plus something. And in Flutter, it's pretty similar. We also use uh, the text uh, uh, text widget and putting some attributes to that. Uh, and it's for developer perspective, it's really easy to uh, to, to push forward the project. And uh, also um, another thing uh, is that all the widgets is uh, follow the Google uh, material design. Uh, we cannot. We don't, we don't have to uh, follow the regulations about the material designs because, uh, let's say, Flutter somehow take care about that. Um, that's also really good. So what do you mean somehow takes care of that? Somehow, because uh, in some cases, uh, it's uh, depending on the developer what kind of widget we can use. Because, for example, Flutter is one code base for, under, for all the platforms, let's say, right now. Uh, but mm. on the iOS, we have the different um, kind of pop-up widgets uh, comparing to the Android. We can also use the same, using the same code. But in some cases, uh, it depends uh, what kind of type of widget uh, developer is using in that scenario he made. Uh, that I thought. OK. So um, can you tell us what is that hot reload feature what does it do? A hot reload feature is really cool. Uh, for, oh, for example, this is really good uh, comparable to Flutter. Uh, when I was developing games uh, using uh, Unity, uh, we uh, Unity is something really cool on the market because till 10 years ago it's cool. Uh, because so we can run our games in the editor without building the game. Uh, itself and creating the exe or apk file pushing to the device a uh, flutter uh, go further because they allow you to test the application re in real time on the device you just to uh, plug your phone to the computer configure using the special terminal command and after that uh, you can uh really build your application in real time it's real time compiling com com compiling the, the application on the device and all the changes are uh, uh, which i made on the code is rapidly uh displaying on the phone that's the hot reload cool feature. okay good so uh Leszek, why does the first flutter app build take so long uh why uh, i guess the answer is because it's uh, when you start with something it requires yeah. quite a lot of work uh, from one side to... yes and also the dark language is something new because uh, mm -hmm. in mod in uh, other frameworks we use the basic language like c uh, java or uh, c sharp to build something uh, flutter came up with something new and require from the developer to learn something new. That's why we learn, uh, we need to learn the Dart, how it's uh, working, uh, how uh, the structure works uh, between the widgets and etc. Something, some in some cases, uh, there's uh, uh, some differences, uh, but I think this is the, the answer for that question. Cool. Uh so some people are praising react native what would you say why would you chose flutter more than react native do you know uh, the answer or is there a medium solution or is does it depend on the knowledge of what somebody built uh you know react is like a big big machine with everything 
and uh, uh, React is based on the dependencies. There's a lot of small leaps for everything. And these lib uh, libraries uh, uh, made by developers, it's, sometimes it's not working with our solution. When we import like a thousands, let's say, small libraries, we can generate problems in our solution. Flutter is more simple and more resistant uh, to the change to the changes. Uh, that's why I think mm, this is one one of the mm, comparable why Flutter is, from my opinion, better than React, React Native. But it's depending what kind of solution we would like to uh, create it uh, using the uh, using the React or the Flutter because in somehow Flutter is not uh, good enough. So we've got a question from Olga Valsina, and I guess she was inspired by your um, inspiration, your start, uh, starting very young at 10 years old, um, building your first mobile app, uh, or was it computer app? So okay. is it best to learn Flutter first to develop games? Uh, I heard uh, from my brother that uh, Flutter right now uh, came up with the 2D uh library when you can easily create to the games i think yeah it's a good start uh for us uh because huge um solutions for the develop for game developers like unity or uh, unreal engine uh, is also cool but in some small projects it's uh, too enough uh to, to start with uh, Flutter probably is good in 2D, uh, but it, but it's also uh, somehow related with the project uh, which uh, we'd like to uh, create it because maybe there. The, the problem with the Flutter at the moment is everything is expanding. Today we have something, and uh, one or two months later we will have something new. Uh, there's a lot of changes, uh, also probably with the you know, to the library, but uh, I think it's a good start to uh, take uh, the adventure uh, using the to the library in Flutter, just to learn something new. Um, is it good changes or is it improving the it's, performance? They're, they're, uh, they're improving a lot with the performance. Uh, they fixing a lot of uh, bugs. Uh, there's really good improvement uh, in the Flutter. That's why I uh, said that everything is expanding because there's a lot of really good dependencies and libraries came up to Flutter, uh, which also improve our de uh, rapid development, let's say. Excellent. Um, we have got uh, a couple of questions. Olga uh, um, uh, Olga was answered. Uh, now, uh, Gata Bellon, what is the benefit of developing mobile first in Flutter, Leszek, as opposed to developing desktop first? Mm -hmm. I think there's... Mm, hmm. Or is That's there? Good question. That's a good question. Benefit of development mobile first. Um, I think. Freaking. Uh, uh, yeah, freaking. Uh, <laughs> I think the rapid development, this is the most important benefit uh, with the mobile fields in Flutter uh, because we can easily start doing the project instead of configure everything. Uh, that's why. Um, I said it's a really important benefit uh, with the development. Excellent, Agatha. I hope it answers your uh, niggling questions. Question: I would only add the fact that more and more people are using mobile phones than desktops. So I think there is a huge potential, lots of money to be made by taking mobile first seriously. Erms Maga, hi Leszek. I see that uh, attraction from Ma Erms. Uh, do you have a particular link or site to share to learn Flutter? Uh, I think there's uh, two uh, two websites, the flutter.com and uh, poop.dev. Uh, 
this is two um, sites. The first one is about uh, made by Google uh, about Flutter. There's uh, a lot of tutorials and uh, um, made up solutions uh, which we can use. And second one is the huge database of the widgets libraries which we can import to our project to uh, expand our development process. Mm. So, um, Ernst, I hope it answers your question because I know you've been learning uh, some things uh, during the weekend and I know that you've been learning a lot from Leszek uh, during working days. Uh, Olga Vesina uh, is following up on her question. Cool, thank you, Leszek. Great show, Beata. So is there a big computational factor to Flutter, aka is there a lot of tricky maths involved in coding with it? Uh, no, that's the answer. Uh, why? Because uh, the, uh, <laughs> we like that. Uh, I also like that uh, because uh, everything is based like a simple uh, blocks. I always comparing uh, programming to cooking because in cooking we need to make some steps to deliver the the food. In programming we do the same, uh, and we have a two type programming: the mathematical one. The, when we need to develop uh, something, let's say, invite the um, the place for cook. And from the pro programming perspective, you need to invite the process, how to develop the application. And the second one is the using ready to use uh, containers, widgets, and etc. to develop something. And Flutter uh, came up with the second uh, way. That's why it's really easy to learn. You need to just to understand how the application is wor works from the beginning. Uh, and after that, you uh, pretty understand the overall process. And then you watch it bloom. And yep. Olga follows up. After all, Olga is an acronym for ALGO, but it looks like a life of simple blocks for my future coding then, LOL. There you go. We like simplicity. We like mobile. And Agata Bellon is also making um, a, a point of thank you. Great point, Bata. It seems we all love uh, our phones. Where I am watching PhD right now, in fact. So I am mobile first girl. Yes, you are. Amen to that, sister. Um, so let's go into the question of what would you say Leszek uh, are the best alternatives for Flutter? <laughs> this is a uh, hard questions because it's depending about what kind of pro project would like to uh, develop. If it's a game mm -hmm. probably it will be Unity or default or uh, Unreal Engine. If it will be the app it could be the native development uh, using the um, language uh, which came up with the platform. For example, native uh, app approach uh, refers to build the mobile application exclusively for a single platform and single pl platform came up with own language. For example, in Android, we can use Java or Kotlin and on iOS, we have a Swift and uh, lately we have a uh, object C. And we can learn the Kotlin, for example, learn how to uh, programming using them. And after that, we need to um, also learn how to use additional libraries. The process is uh, much more further uh, comparing to Flutter. Uh, we can also use uh, website application uh, and create uh, the website using frameworks uh, and um, made the website in the way to give impression that it's really running like a native application uh, but this is the website and we have a hybrid approach also to use uh, the uh, frameworks like flutter react native and others uh, to combine the elements from native application and uh, the websites mm. 
It sounds very overwhelming, frankly, Leszek, because uh, you mentioned uh, Unity for game, then you mentioned for up something else and yep. something else. And do you mean that you learned all of these programming languages or is it just <laughs> understanding? Unfortunately, uh, all of them. Uh, I'm start uh, when I was ten. I started learning the basic, and I made uh, several uh, games uh, on the basic language. After that, I start uh, learning uh, C and C plus plus, and working on my own game engine. But it's failed. Uh, but after that, uh, Unity at two point six came up. I think yeah, two point six. I came up on the Windows and I'm jump into Unity uh, to uh, start coding games using JavaScript. <laughs> but Unity also came up with C Sharp and I'm start work uh, start learning C Sharp. Uh, you know, uh, according to the programming is uh, also really similar to cooking because when we uh, know how to cook, we can cook everything literally. In programming, is the same when we Mm, learn how the overall idea works and how the process works, it's, it's really easy to understand uh, another language. When we learn C Sharp, we can easily jump into something different. Uh, also, the C Sharp comparing to JavaScript or uh, HTML is something different, but in somehow the overall process looks the same. And we need to uh, uh, look through that secret sauce. I love your analogy to uh, making first stop a step as a cook. And I can still remember my first attempt uh, to make a soup and uh, in, back in Poland uh, all these years ago. When my mother tried to drink, eat it, she was um, really appalled. But it's constant trying to make perfection. As, as you said, there is there are some bases for making a sauce there are some bases for making a cake without certain ingredients and without trying you cannot start so yeah, this, unless... uh, this, this uh, secret uh, these small steps uh, we call it in programming the architecture mm. when we know the architecture how to make a sauce we can expand it with something new uh this is one of the secret sauce um things but yeah Excellent. Uh, you can say that again. It's definitely quotable. I hope our production team is going to catch this quote. Uh, Marianne is um, asking you, Leszek, hello Leszek, how did you learn so many languages? Wow, at 10, I will better start at C. Thanks, I Leszek. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is the answer. I, don't, I really, I don't know because um, uh, something inspired me inside that I can do it because I have to do, I will, because I cannot uh, produce my game. And okay, keep pushing, keep pushing. Ah, uh, uh, you know, Leszek, I think I think I know a secret sauce uh, to your start. Um, you had Unity in your brain uh, plus ADHD, and then it works. Yeah, Definitely. there you go. Marianne, good luck with acquiring these. We've got another question from Olga Vasina. I know that Marianne also wanted you to repeat what were the sources for starting. So we know that there was Flutter to mm -hmm. start a learn um, uh, Flutter, but yeah. also there is another source for a learning. Uh, uh, pa uh, Pub.dev, uh, this is the website uh, when we you could uh, download and import libraries to Flutter. Uh, so it's PAP, of... yes? Dot... Uh, P-A-B. B, P-A-B. OK, yep. good, excellent. Thank you so much, Leszek, for uh, reminding us. Olga, is there a coherent relationship between all these programming languages, like, say, the Roman spoken language, French, Italian, Spanish, even Romanian, or are they very disparate? Uh, uh, Olga is uh, setting up a challenge for Leszek tonight. Uh, I think hmm, it's something different. 
it's mm. something different because the spoken language mm, it's a spoken language from the programming we need to understand the overall process let's say how the computer works mm. yeah uh, mm. this is the differences because uh, in this in the speaking language we have a different Mm, we can compare French to Italian on French to Polish, but uh, everything could be different. Uh, in the computer language, there's a one the same basis, uh, like how computer read our code. And all the languages need to compile everything in the same that computer needs to understand that. And this is one of the relationship, but I, I don't think so. There is a relationship between French and C++. Mm. So um, there is no relationship, but some bases are. Um... You can you can use uh, variables uh, in your language. Uh, that's that's good. But uh, in overall, there's no comparison. Okie doke. Um, let's uh, let's ask you another question, Leszek, about um, this adventure with programming. You said that you're teaching your uh, brother. I know that you also have got a mini Leszek up your sleeve. So what is the future holding for your family? I mean, your little son is how old? Uh, right now, four. Four. So he's got another six years to learn uh, to, to create to his start. first. Uh, <laughs> yeah. or, or did you already start? No, no, no. Uh, in somehow yes, because there is a lot of right now toys uh, for uh, four and five years old uh, kids uh, to learn the programming basis, like uh, using a small block so you can teach the uh, small robots how to uh, make a path uh, on the on the board. That's really good, and uh, my son love it. This is, I think, the first step with the programming. But uh, for the real programming, uh, he, he I probably I inspire him to, to make a first step because the world is expanding and the programming is something as math or um, biology that everyone needs to know to integrate in your life. And everybody's using it without yeah. even knowing that they are doing it. So Leszek, uh, my, my uh, personal ask is to actually uh, write down for us what are the starter program for your kid, because we have got some viewers who would love to have some resources for their little kids to play as they go and think that they are playing while they are actually learning. Agata is asking another, another question. So what are the best ways to teach a kid programming, programming Raspberry Pi or straight to Flutter, Leszek? Uh, uh, as I mentioned, there's uh, different ways. Uh, what is the benefits uh, when we program something? Uh, when we focus on developing games, uh, we trying to understand how the game looks how it works what kind of devices they use and etc uh, ra raspberry is uh, also another thing to uh, internet devices uh, internet internet of things um, uh, devices and they use different approach to provide something and there when we compare flutter to raspberry there is a differences because flutter is Somehow, uh, the Dart language, this is something cool news, is uh, prim primarily uh, developed by Google for internet devices uh, like Raspberry, like uh, small timers in our bedroom uh, to uh, integrate the device uh, in the, with the Internet of Things. But uh, Res from my perspective, I don't know how to uh, uh, how to do the stuff uh, for the Raspberry Pi. It was is the straight uh, to the Flutter. It's hard to say uh, how to say that because I never developed something on Raspberry. But um, I hope there's a, 
uh, big differences between Flutter and Raspberry. But the Dart, as I know, is made up uh, basically prim primarily for uh, that kind of devices. Ladies and gentlemen, just a reminder, if you have any questions, please chip in. Uh, Leszek is here to inspire us, to give us positivity hacks, to deliver positivity hacks. And with his brain, I can assure you there's going to be plenty. Erms is uh, mentioning that uh, she only has got uh, knowledge of three languages. Uh, now I understand why you're good in programming language. As for me, I feel dizzy with three languages, which I didn't master until now. Well, Erms, I would say you already speak uh, English, you speak uh, Tagalog, and uh, there is many more to come. So definitely you're spending your time wisely, not flicking through TikTok on weekends. So we can see a great potential and Leszek is there to help as always. Marianne is saying, hi Leszek again, I better buy blocks for my nephew as first step. Thank you, Leszek, again. Definitely blocks, uh, building some uh, Lego blocks or whatever it is. Make Lego sure Meister. that you're... There you go. Leszek had some cool yeah. gifts uh, for Christmas for his little <laughs> one, mini Leszek. So, Leszek, let me ask you, um, your adventure if programming started quite uh, early. What are the real-time developments? What did you develop? Is there any apps we can check um, that are already online? Or is there anything that we can see how you made it? Uh, you know, there's like, a, let's say, thousands of projects uh, because um, it's funny because I always say that um, I developed uh, probably the application for maybe all industries. Um, but there is uh, a lot of website uh, made up by me, also a lot of uh, mini games and mobile applications, especially uh, using the augmented reality uh, tools. Uh, right now, I'm trying to move uh, with fintech. Uh, also, I have a, a small journey with funeral and charge industry to develop uh, the ready-to-use solutions for the company management. Uh, there's a lot of uh, projects and a lot of uh, projects uh, and such of different experience uh, in it. Uh, and I think the that ability allow me to be the better producer uh, right now. I definitely attest to that. That's uh, the reason we are together in Hansa Tech. We've got first question. We've never heard Stephen joining us. Stephen, lovely to see you. It's lovely to see another man supporting women on IT. What's the most downloaded app you created? Uh, I have a, a three or four years journey developing the augmented uh, reality solutions uh, for events. And one of our clients uh, uh, is McDonald's. And uh, for one event in Saudi Arabia, we made a special application for them. And we have uh, around one and two point million uh, users on it. Wow, excellent. That's a very nice number, Leszek. Uh, I uh, wanted to go back to the beginnings. I know that you had some problems with uh, people trying to um, hack your programs or take it over, not paying for it. How do you cope with that, Leszek? Because you started very young, created your company very young. And now you're actually learning some legal background work. So I wonder what would be your number one uh, lesson to somebody who is aiming to become an independent developer or a software house? Uh, first of all, uh, from the developer, jump into the ocean because when you jump to the ocean, you, you have a lot of problems to 
uh, which came up and you need to solve them but from uh, earning money uh, don't do it uh, you need to uh, create a uh, small steps uh, and create a own process because uh, somehow you need to specialize on something uh, to be um, more confident uh, in what you are doing uh, and you are learning you uh, every client uh, there's uh, another process another process uh, and every client client is uh, your uh, playground for learning and getting a feedback and you need to uh, gathering that feedback and based on that uh, you make another move so in other words small steps lead to big accomplishments exactly. um, it's a very good uh, lesson to everyone who is wondering whether to start um definitely don't start big because you're gonna fall big so uh Leszek can attest to that because we had a discussion about for example how somebody stole your name of the company which was very groovy can you tell us about that uh yeah there's a period uh, in my life that uh, uh when i not not have a company but i have idea someone is uh, took over my name uh, my compa company name group name let's say uh this is my oh, 15 uh 15 years ago uh i have idea uh for the organization we developed the organization and make uh the first uh, free force events this organization is really uh, go up, uh, grow up uh, really fast. And someone in the industry saw that someone is making that uh, on the university and he have a, a really similar name. And Polish regulations are pretty strange because uh, when you register a trademark, you just taking over someone and uh, this is happening to me this is like a lesson uh, but uh, I changed the name start the same thing again uh, using the different name so lesson learned you yep. have to uh, definitely uh, do your due diligence and uh, learn about how to create a company or create a name, how to register a name or register a trademark. This is something uh, that a lot of people uh, uh, forget from the beginning that, okay, we made up the application, we made up something, but a lot of uh, people don't look through the regulations. Uh, the agreements. I don't have a uh, uh, knowledge at that time about that, uh, and uh, someone is taking over. Uh, that's the uh, chess, uh, the law chess. I, uh, I say always. Uh, mm -hmm. Something is make made a move. Uh, I lost uh, one figure. That's it. But I also uh, in the game. Mm. So you stayed stayed in the game and you could move further with exactly. a new company. Strict Space is a new company. I mean, how many years have you been in the in the Strict Space Six. environment? Six years. Fabulous. One question that we always ask, uh, especially given the fact that our target is female entrepreneurs, female leaders, what advice would you give them uh, to help their career or start an entrepreneurial journey? Hmm, hard questions. Uh, <laughs> uh, first of all, I think uh, you need to find a support group uh, of the women in similar situations let's say because uh, i saw that 10 or 20 years ago uh there's no that kind of advantages that you can go into uh into cafe or some somewhere and to learn the stories about uh, the business side uh for someone uh 
this support group are really incredible because it helps uh, a lot uh, making another steps. You can uh, learn something new. You can um, inspire yourself. Uh, I saw also that many women today are unsure of themselves. Often they mm, will not start their dream because they are afraid of something, uh, probably the acceptance by the environment. And uh, however, nothing builds uh, our self-confidence like a created project and uh, our dream, uh, our uh, dream uh, come true. But uh, most important advice is to uh, fail fast, uh, fail early, ask for help. Uh, if you don't know something, just ask. And uh, when you go through many iterative process as entrepreneurs, you need to uh, ask uh, about help, about, about questions uh, of something. Uh, make questions, make a lot of questions, uh, because that credibility save you time in the future and save your resources. Hmm. So uh, none of us are able to achieve success without some help along the way. Is there a particular person that you are grateful towards who helped you get to where you are, whether it's entrepreneurial journey or whether it's programming languages? Probably in my life, there's uh, four stages, let's say, the four important moments, uh, which uh, shaped, shaped me a lot. The first one, uh, when I was 10, uh, my dad uh, helped me a lot with the programming because he's also a programmer. Uh, this is my uh, first um, pushing uh, force, let's say. A second mm -hmm. one is the junior high school because I have a really small school when where teachers notice that I have a, a little bit talent and try to help me with uh, without spreading my wings. Uh, and I have a time for learning, but I have also time to expanding. Uh, and thanks uh, to that, uh, thanks to that, I won many national contents and competitions that's mm, like pushing me to the next level. After that, uh, I came up to university, but um, here I understand that, okay, I know that path, which we are learning right now. And uh, I am uh, find the uh, helping group like Mission to Run in Torun, where I realistically exchange my business experience and uh, expert advice. Uh, is also keep pushing uh, me me forward, and also the fourth uh, step is the ability to rise uh, from own failure really rapidly, quickly, because many people right now uh, nowadays uh, give up, and uh, I think this is much important a skill uh, which I developed uh, that time. Uh, mm. in my period that allow me to push forward myself uh, despite the circumstances. Well, uh, I, I can definitely say because uh, just uh, last week I said uh, my farewell to my daughter who was visiting to beautiful Valletta in Malta. And definitely this younger generation is uh, constantly seeking for instant gratification. That's something that doesn't come easy, especially when it comes to programming, you have to learn, fail and repeat. And uh, it's always the case of trying until you achieve what you are trying to achieve. Um, what is the number one book you can sit and think, oh, I wish I read it before I started my career? There is no one book. I have a, a thousand of them. Uh, it's also a difficult question because as a um, as a young developer, I read a lot of uh, technological books uh, before I started working on the programmer. Uh, my dad like looked through the internet that time and okay, that book uh, learning somehow how to make uh, your first uh, game. But the first game is uh, how to display the image on the on the screen. That that's it. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you read like uh, 200 uh, pages how to how to do that. Uh, 
uh, that's time that's like 15 years ago 17 years ago uh 18 okay 18 uh but this is my first steps i read a lot of developer uh, books right now we have a lot of uh online documentation which we can really easy look through but according to books i have a uh, five or six uh which stuck in my memory one of them is uh, written by jakub bonczek a million under 30. uh it shows the four areas of life uh which you need to feel full feel to earn your first million uh if you jump from another area you can always uh jump back and if you don't feel uh four of them uh you, you cannot earn one million uh another one is the business dna also made by the two polish uh entrepreneurs uh, anna urbańska and paweł jerzombek uh, this is like the Bible of running a company from the per particular uh, explanations uh, and, and site. This is something which I don't have to when I start uh, working on my first company. This is like a knowledge which I really missed. But uh, also, I think uh, there's uh, two books. Also, The Zero to One, Peter Thiel. Uh, mm. describing how to build companies based on the complete new ideas uh, and one more maybe about the chaos uh, from GLEC that introduced the concept and the early development the chaos theory to the public it also explained how chaos uh, somehow re is related to your life because mm. everything in your life uh ev everything what is happening is happening uh for something mm, for a reason Leszek, um, it's been very challenging for our english speaking um viewers to uh, look up some of the polish books you mentioned uh i hope they will go yeah. internationally but definitely peter deal no. is uh, is the one that is um is available everywhere um are you working on any exciting new project right now uh, uh, yes <laughs> <laughs> yes because there's a lot of uh, that kind of uh, challenges let's say not projects uh, for for my per per particular view right now i'm uh, not have a um um uh, how to say it? Uh, I never uh, look through that automation could change the life. Like uh, five years ago, everyone uh, said that, oh, uh, let's teach automation, let's teach automation. Um, right now, I'm uh, from one year, I'm trying to automate uh, my process in life and also in the university. We have ability to, um, as a president of uh, student government, to autom automatize, uh, automating the, some process using Integrum and Airtable. Uh, I also constantly developing my child, uh, the University of Games, uh, providing ready uh, made solutions for young game developers. Uh, we also, together with Data, uh, starting a new startup uh, with Daria of uh, Web3 and Blockchain um and also i have a lot of uh, micro products uh when i was mentoring uh how to do next step how to move, uh, make a, a next next step how to look further with something and i'm as a mentor from technic uh, technical side i i mentor some micro products that's really exciting your uh, unity with uh, hd hd uh, adhd um uh, in your brain is definitely getting lots of stimulus uh, leszek is there a number one life lesson quote that you live by right now or in the past or in I'm, the future i've lived like an entire life uh there's a quote uh do you want to see um, sells with uh, sweetened water from the last uh, from, ah. do you want to sell uh, sweetened water for the rest of your life or uh, would you rather uh, change the world 
Uh, this is the a quote uh, made by Steve uh, Jobs said to Scully uh, while trying to hire him from Pepsi. And mm. uh, I can interpret it like this, that show shows no matter what shit we sit in, uh, there is uh. always uh, some other source that can pull us up. And I believe that in life, uh, certain there's a certain sources in which we stack, like uh, Scully stacks. And it's uh, easier for us to swim in that source, like in Coca-Cola, than to get uh, out from them uh, to move another step, to jump into another source. That's my interpretation of that quote. To jump into Fanta or whatever it might be. <laughs> Leszek, yeah. let's imagine the pandemic is over and you can invite any person in the world to have private breakfast with them anywhere in the world. Who would you invite and where would it be? You know, uh, pandemic show, shows to me that everyone is inspired uh, by the great personalities. For example, I lose uh, 40 kilograms uh, when pandemic is start until now. And mm -hmm. uh, it showed me up that a lot of people is inspired by the people also like me that, okay, you, you lose that uh, uh, kilograms, how you can do that. But uh, as a people, we don't see the, um, we don't see everyone uh, behind us, uh, they uh, journey uh, with that. Uh, and I believe that uh, you need to focus on the everyday life because they especially uh, made the occasions and inspiration for you to make a product, to deliver something new. Uh, because when we inspire for some, uh, when we inspire for uh, by the great personalities, uh, we always uh, look the uh, their uh, final effect. We don't see the overall way how they went. And that's why I would like to invite my friend, uh, which whom I know for over 70 years. Uh, unfortunately, in the last years, uh, our lives has been saturated with work and we don't see each other. We always mm. talk uh, via phone but we don't have a time to keep it up and uh, and talk one or two days uh, together. Uh, and, and your friend uh, is? Uh, my friend is Piotr. Uh, and also it will be fun to stop maybe uh, somehow uh, somewhere in the mountains of the Switzerland for the morning breakfast, I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. I love that views uh, there, and also I love that um, that, that that quiet. Mm. So way. and Leszek, that's really lovely. Piotr, Piotr uh, what's his surname, please? Uh, so we Woźnicki. can mention him. Woźnicki, Piotr Woźnicki. This is uh, a dream of Leszek. He's going to have a private breakfast somewhere in the <laughs> mountains of Switzerland. I'm sure it's going to be lovely. I wish to hear what is happening in that breakfast because you mentioned 17 years you, you did not see each yeah, other. We, face we, face. we teach, teach together in, in, in uh, junior school. Mm. And we also work together. <laughs> I inspired I inspire him to start also programming uh, and computer graphics. That's a lot of journey together. We came up. Yeah. Mm. So old friends reunion, even though you live in Poland, you never have a chance to catch up. <laughs> Laszek, it's been a pleasure to have you on the show as well as uh, have lovely comments and questions from Stephen Tamargo, In Love and in Pain, Olga Vasina, Agata Bellon, Erminia Maga, Marian Madera, and just a gentle reminder to join us next week. We are going to talk about what Leszek just mentioned, which was the positive outcome he would get from groups. And one of the, that uh, 
formation of group or inspiration you could get is by creating your own mastermind group or joining a mastermind group if you're interested please join us next wednesday at 6 p.m cet if you focus on positives the positives get more positive that's it from episode 45 of phd live stream thanks to our lovely guest leszek Krul. to stay updated and ensure you never miss a positivity hug delivered follow women on it and turn on notifications to be alerted once a video has been released tell people and they may forget show them they may remember but involve them and they will understand Leszek and also Erms can attest to that. And we have got some other people in our team who were shown by Leszek what to do, how to do programming languages or automation, whatever it was, uh, Integromat. There was lots of uh, interesting names being pushed, uh, lots of interesting quotations. As always, our positive quote positivity quote comes from positive thinking uh, only and our uh, sometimes you need a little crisis to get your adrenaline flowing uh, to help you realize your true potential as Leszek said he really uh, did not go to where he is at the moment without trying and failing and trying again and sometimes being even tricked by other people when it comes to names or businesses if you don't like something change it if you can't change it change your attitude as maya angela says today is your day to hack the future hack the positivity you want thank you see you next week thank you very much